Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a light up dashboard using the Planners Anonymous Under the Stars kit. So if you wanna see how I made this one, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to admit this project scares me. It scares me for a lot of reasons. I'm scared I'm going to fail. And so if I fail, please don't hate me. Um, what I wanna do, I want to do a new dashboard. So this is the dashboard on my planner at the moment and I love it. It's it's really, it's my favourite and it's been there. You can tell it's my favourite because it's been in my planner for, oh, I don't know, two years-ish. Um, but I really love this. I love this paper. This paper is gorgeous. Um, and I have this idea to make a dashboard that lights up. This is where I'm scared because I don't know if this will work. So we're going to give it a try. If I mess it up, Sammy's promised she'll send me another bit of this paper because I'm very, 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 very nervous. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut this to the same size as my current dashboard, uh, just missing the, um, the laminated bit. So I'm not going to laminate this. You could very easily laminate this if you wanted to. To me, I feel like it's just one extra step that's going to cause me a problem, so I'm not going to do it. So I'm getting my big trimmer, I'm cutting this to 20, I think it's 21.1. Hold up. You yeah, know, I was right the first time. I was measuring this way, I don't know why I was doing that. Um, I'm going to cut it to 16, which is just a little bit bigger than I need it. but gives me some wiggle room. I'm also then going to bring in, have a lot of mess today. Just going to bring in my other, no, oh no, I need the big one for this. Sorry. I'm very, I'm so nervous that I'm messing things up. Uh, I just need to cut off a teensy bit at the top. That's why I was measuring, which I'm actually going to, yeah, I will cut off at the top. I knew I was measuring this for a reason. 21.1. I then want to really quickly just punch the holes just so I've got my actual shape that I'm working with. Now I could very easily do this with a hole punch. I just, uh, well, like with a, my punch board, I just want to make sure I get them all in the right spot. So I'm just doing this by hand because I'm, I'm much more confident doing this. So I'll just grab my little single hole punch. Now I'm going to come in just a little bit more from where I punched there or where I marked there. So it's kind of right on the edge. The spot is in the right spot, but I've just moved in a little bit closer. A little bit further away, sorry, from the edge of the page. So the way we're going to get this to light up is using my Chibitronics kit. Um, I have used these on my channel before. I'm still not 100% confident with these. They make me nervous, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oops, which apparently I didn't put them all back in the box. There's the bits. So what I first need to do is work out where I want to put the lights and punch some little holes. Now I'm just going to punch holes with my little skewery tool, but you could obviously do it um, with a hole punch if you've got a hole punch that'll get in here. But I'm trying to make it look like the little fireflies are going to light up and we'll do a yellow light so that it does look right. So I'm just grabbing my cutting mat so that I can work this out. Okay, so I want, I want four. One, two, three, four. And I just want to make sure that they're evenly spaced which is why I just kind of pushed there a little bit. So I do want these holes to be a little bit big so I'm going the whole way through. So one. And by leaving a little bit of room around the outside I feel like I'm going to get a much better, much better circuit. So for, we need a little bit of height here to be able to do this for the battery. So I've grabbed some um, foam sheets here. These are not going to be the right size. They're going to be too 
skinny and not tall enough, but oh, too tall and not wide enough. But I'm gonna fix that. So I'm gonna start with just the first one. I'm gonna mark where my holes are. So just by sticking my pencil in and wiggling. So I need to mark the holes. And I'm gonna punch through these as well. I'm actually gonna punch through both bits at once. I'm using two because my battery is pretty tall and I want to make sure that I get the height I need so the battery doesn't stay on all the time. And we're using this kind of foam because it'll mean the lights only come up through here and it'll be a little bit more solid. This is where I sort of start getting a little bit worried because I'm just not 100% sure what I'm doing here. And annoyingly. My foam is just not quite in the right spot either. So what I'm going to do is just trim off. You're not going to see any of this, so it's, I think it's okay if I just cut. And it doesn't really matter if it's straight or not. So I've just cut a little bit off the side. So now I can't see any of it through the sides. And I'm just going to trim off a little bit on the bottom. Same thing, just Try and stay as straight as I can, but not panicking too much. See straight through so I know I'm in the right spot. And I'm just going to mark the holes. I'm going to punch the holes out with the hole punch. And I'm going to copy this over to the other side. And these will be a little closer. And I need my big hole punch. So they, there only will be a little bit of foam between the hole and the in the edge, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make this second piece the exact same size. So what I'm doing, because I've already got the holes in here, I'm just lining these two up on the, the left edge because that edge I know is right, or on the non-hold edge I guess we'll go. And I'm just going to mark where I'm trimming it. You just need to cut that little bit off. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all of that, get these the same size, and I'll be right back. take those together so that they stay in the position that I want and then we can kind of work as long as I can see so I'm just lifting this up I think I'm okay now there's this little side gap here that we'll, we'll fix along the way because I'll make it I'll make it so it's not quite so obvious also there I'll add some scrap foam in afterwards I'm just going back through these holes and just pushing through the other direction so that they're they're fairly big holes. I do have I do have a want to give this more, like to try and give it more, but I don't think I've got anything that will get into this space. Like my, my crocodile will get to the ones on the side, but they won't get to the ones in the middle. So I might just have to, we'll see how we go with the lights and if I need to make it bigger, I will. All right, the other thing we need to do before we sort of start working on the circuit is to give this a backing piece. So I'm gonna cut another bit of PA paper from the kit into the exact same size here. So I'm just gonna really quickly duplicate this. I want the stars on the outside. So I'm gonna cut this to the right size, punch it, and then we can start working on the circuit. So this is how thick our dashboard's gonna be. So it is gonna be a chunky monkey, but it's not, it's not as horrible as it sort of might seem. I do need to really quickly also mark where my lights go. So again, I'm just using my pencil just to push through and mark them out. And I'm just gonna make them a little bit darker on this side, just so I can see where they are. In fact, that's not working, so I'm gonna grab an actual ink pen. The pencil's just not dark enough. I wanna make sure I can see. Okay, so the 
lights are gonna go there. It's a very simple circuit, but there's, there's gonna be four lights. So this is where my fear comes in. I am also going to try a different way of putting the battery in. This is a technique that I saw on a video from Jessica Frost Ballas, and I'll link it down below. She used an amazing lawn form kit that I've still have, and I have used it, but I haven't used it in the light up fashion that I wanted to. Um, so I'm sort of very inspired by that and I want to give it a shot. So what she's done is instead of having the battery just down here and you just sort of press it on and off, it's actually a battery that you can pull out and push back in again. So I've got this really thick bit of cardboard. This is some of the uh, Cricut craft cardstock, I think it's called craft cardstock. Uh, but just in white and I'm cutting this to be sort of about two and a half oh, I'd rather cut it too wide at the beginning I've got this is this is a scrap bit which is why I don't mind using it I'm gonna cut it to about three and a half centimeters wide and then we're gonna make our little battery holder and then we're gonna get the score tool out and I'm going to score this in four spots and that's going to, we're going to fold it together to make our little battery holder. So the first one is at 3.2 centimetres, so we do 3.2, 3.2, 3.2, 3.7. She's given the, the sizes in inches and I have an inch scoring board so I'm going to use inches. But just so you know, the 3.2 is about where it is. So we need to do one and a quarter inches. giving this a real good push because it's really thick cardboard. Uh, two and a half, three and three quarters, and then five and a quarter. We fold this up accordion style. So fold it back on itself and then forward and then back and then forward. So we've got this little accordion kind of thing with a, with a tab on the end. I'm going to give this a really good score because I don't want it to be I don't want there to be any gaps on it, so I'm really going to push hard. Okay, so we're going to get a couple of dies out. I have two sets here. These are my Infinity dies from Hero Arts, and these are my Lawn Fawn Reveal Wheel dies. The first one we're going to grab out is the little circle. Um, puzzle piece and then I'm gonna grab because that is just a little bit bigger than my battery so it's going to be the perfect size to kind of cut here where I can have it sort of fitting in each layer and this will hold the battery in place and then we just need one that's just a little bit smaller than my battery so that it doesn't go all the way through and we put that on the very bottom one. Now if I haven't done a very good job of explaining this, I would highly suggest you check out that video because it is really good and it's where I got all my instructions from. So you see this one's just a little bit smaller so the battery won't pop through. So that one will go on the very bottom one. So I'm going to start off with this. I'm going to put it where I want it. We have a little bit of that washi tape I had a second ago. Where did it hide? Hold the first one in place. I'm just lining it up so there's a little bit of space around the edge. And we'll run this first one through. Let's cut out the little circle here. And we're going to fold it, line up the die again. So it's basically in the same spot with the same bit of cardboard. It's just got it folded over one more time. And that way I'll get the circle in the exact right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and do this a couple of times to get all of the pieces cut out. And I'll be right back.
that's okay. It's obviously a really thick bit of cardboard, so needed to make sure that it all sat in the right spot. And then you'll be able to see here, if I put the battery in, it'll sit in there and I've got access to the bit at the bottom, but it doesn't fall all the way through. Uh, now I didn't need that last bit, so I'm just gonna cut that off. I'm just gonna cut it off nicely. And then we're going to trim down these edges a little bit. Get rid of the side bit. So I don't need it to be this wide. So I'm just gonna cut it, just gonna make it straight. There we go. So it all still folds up right. And I'm just gonna round off these edges just so that they look a little bit prettier. And then I'll rub out this pencil mark as well. I'm not worrying at all about the other marks that appear on here because quite honestly, you're not gonna see it anyway. Well, hopefully people don't see it anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and also glue this little bit together. I'm just gonna use glue dots, but you can use uh, liquid glue or um, masking, not masking tape, um, double-sided tape if that's what you've got. So I just folded it over. scoring tool just so that it's all stuck together and I'm just using my finger just to rub all the glue dots off I can't quite get in there just the eraser but it should be pretty pretty good and I've just got a little bit where I've gone off kilter so I'm just gonna fix that up all right so there's our little battery holder it's gonna hold the battery exactly in the right spot it doesn't feel quite as thick as it did before but that's all right but this is why we went the double layer of foam because if we went the single layer of foam, the battery would be not quite wide enough and that would cause problems. So on my foam again, I'm just gonna mark where the battery holder is gonna go. So I'm just gonna draw myself a little rectangle and then next to it, I need to do another little rectangle and that's gonna help with our um, the making of the circuit in a minute and then all we need to do is we just need to cut these out so what I'm going to do now just to help myself out a little bit I'm actually going to stick these two bits of foam together I'm just going to do that with double sided tape because that's the best way for me to keep foam together in my experience so I've just got some normal express it double sided tape and I'm just going to stick this together as solidly as I can I want There'll be a lot of glue here. You'll sort of be a bit panicked about how much double-sided tape I use here, but I don't want these coming apart. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, and I'll be right back. Sorry, I should have said this, and I, I, I didn't because I sort of thought it would be clear, but just in case, um, just make sure you don't put any glue over where the, the holes are, because you don't want glue there. I'm going to go over where I want the battery holder and stuff to be because I know I can go through it. But if you didn't want to, you didn't have to. You could kind of avoid that area. But I'm just going to do it. Alright, all stuck together. All in the right spot. I just went through a couple more times with the, um, with the pokey tool just to try and make sure it's 100% right. And I'm just going to cut out this little space little difficult because of the double foam but it should be okay so this bit here we don't need to keep it can go in the bin this little bit that we're going to cut out we do need to keep so I'm just going to cut that out with my craft knife and that wasn't what I meant to pull in I meant to pull in this one whoops I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out it doesn't need to be huge it doesn't need to be attractive whatsoever you're never going to see it. It just needs to be cut out. And that was the other bonus of having, I was going to say, of having the um, double-sided tape. But unfortunately, it did come apart, but it's up. So I'm just going to stick these back together again. So just put some double-sided tape there, cut off the excess, and then put it back together. It doesn't even matter if it's not perfectly back together, just close enough. All right. Going back to our 
backing piece putting these together so we can start working on the circuit so that's where it needs to sit like I said I'll put a bit more foam down here afterwards we just need to mark where these spaces are as well I'm going to grab that marker so that I can see exactly where it needs to be I'm just not going all the way to the bottom so that if I if something does pop up you sort of don't panic you can't see it as much so again just making sure that fits which it does all right so that the bottom bit is our negative so that's the negative and this is the positive so what we need to do is mark out I've got my little stickers here, so one, oh, they're the yellow, they're the white, white. I do have coloured ones, but I don't want to use the coloured ones. So we just need to work out where the little path goes. So you can have the stickers up either way, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to have mine positive at the top, negative at the bottom. So I've just written that in. Actually, I should have it the other way around, only because the negative line then becomes easier to go up. And I'm just going to sketch a little line here and that's going to be sort of where the copper tape is going to run. So we're going to go up and then straight along, whoops, straight along, which makes it very, very simple. And then the same thing for the positive, which runs up through here round and then in a straight line so it makes it pretty pretty simple I hope then we're gonna grab that copper tape we're gonna give this a shot now, I am no longer nervous about doing the tape part of this only because I've got plenty Ryan bought me a bunch off of Amazon so I have plenty of tape I'm not nervous about the using the tape part I'm just nervous about the getting it right part so if you remember back to when we did the little fairy light up tag Remember, we fold the tape back on itself to go around corners. So right angle corners are the best way to do this. They'll give you the easiest kind of way to do it. But I'll show you when we get going here. So I just like to take off a bit of the tape. And start in the middle here where our negative is. Come up. We fold it back on itself. Kind of go around a corner and then we sort of go back that way don't panic too much if you've got a little bit of overhang it's fine it will work so you sort of go back and then forwards it isn't simple it's a bit of it it's a bit tricky i was gonna say you get better at it as you do it which is probably true but i haven't done it enough so perhaps i need to practice a little bit not today so then the biggest thing I want to make sure here is actually we'll do the I'll do the negative line first and then we'll sort out sort of where the lights exactly sit I'm just going to come down just a little bit just remembering where those dots are that's where the light needs to sit okay and then once we've got sort of where we want to stop just cut the tape and then just using a scoring tool or a bone folder, either or, just give it a bit of a rub over. It just burnishes it, it gets out a couple of the bumps. It just seems to work a little bit better. Okay. Then, the negative goes at the top, so that's the, this bit. So I'm just making sure that they're touching, which they are. I just need to make sure then that the, the space is enough so it doesn't sort of get in the way I'm actually going to go the opposite direction this time that way I can keep these really close together I've kind of got this one that's not broken but I, I kind of buggered it up at some point and I just like I said I just want to make sure the lights are in the right spot and I think I've gone a little too high this one I'm just pulling pulling the tape up a little bit 
I was going to say this bottom panel, so don't panic too much if, if you sort of wreck it or make it look funny. Actually, we'll just leave it and we'll see how we go. You can always add a bit more tape. So I'm just trying to keep this as close to the, the dots as I can. Again, just coming, coming around. This bit's the easy part. touches it means the circuit stays together so if you have gone a bit wide this should still be fine so I'm just adding the little light on there and then this is just me checking because I'd rather check now than check later I'm just grabbing a little scrap well not a scrap but a little bit of the copper tape I'm gonna put the battery on here so it's sitting on top of the tape we're touching here and the light works Yay! You guys have no idea how happy that makes me. I haven't screwed it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick all of the little lights on. Again, if, and I'm just gonna check each time I stick it down. I'll grab this little bit here and just keep checking. Just keep checking. Oops. That makes sense, that doesn't have any copper on it. Okay. I have an expectation that a couple of these lights won't work. And that's more to do with the fact that I've actually screwed up a couple of times with these lights. But I will try just for a little bit of extra width first before I decide it's the light's fault. to do you can completely skip this this is a me being a paranoid person I just like to go over and add a little bit of tape on each of the tops again if you don't have a lot of tape I can understand why you wouldn't want to do this but if you've got plenty like I do I don't really see the point of being being stingy with it if it means I don't have to worry about this sort of happening later so I'm going to go ahead and stick all of these down and I'll be right back all right so now we've got that done we need to make sure that there is a way that the top panel this one here which is where we're going to be able to push stuff and the plus is going to be can connect with the bottom panel so just going to put the foam back in here for a second and then mark the little box and then this little box and then put this in where the battery is going to go draw that little circle in just so I can see where everything is. Don't lose any of my little bits. Just keep making sure it still works so I don't haven't stuffed anything up. So then we're gonna this is where the extra little bit of tape is gonna go. I'm just gonna have it run through this bit here. I am a little nervous about this part because this is the part that not doesn't make sense to me because it does but is the complicated bit if you want to go with that. So I'm just gonna have it run straight down through my little box here and then fold back on itself come up so it touches the battery bit off run over with the tool again and then using that little bit that we had before so making sure it still fits sort of back in there which it does I'm gonna wrap use this little bit that I was using before I'm gonna wrap this in the copper tape so I'm just gonna use all of the bit that I had here because it doesn't matter if you overlap it and you can use like a, a fabric conductor 
which is what Jessica says actually works better. I don't have any, so I'm just gonna work on this and hope for the best. See how we go. So I'm just wrapping this together. Sometimes like this, I wish I had, you know, some kind of finger down. And then I'm gonna put that, um, this is just a, t a test at the moment, so I'm just gonna put everything where it needs to be. Put my little conductor in there. Line it all up. So we've got a little gap here, which is where the battery goes. And then when you push, see this is where I'm, it doesn't quite make a lot of sense to me. Okay, so that works, we know that works. No, no, it is working. It is working, we just can't see the lights, okay. So if that's the case, I'm just going to cut these just a titsy bit bigger. Whoops, that's right. Why do I keep grabbing that instead of my cutting mat? Like I said, if I had a hole punch that was able to get in here, I would just do this with the hole punch, but I don't. So I'm just going to use my craft knife just to cut a little square space or a circle space, whichever space you want to do. But just a little bit more room. Let's just see now if that works. Put it all together again. I'm a little worried about how that stays in there. Right, so I'm just going to cut these holes a little bit bigger. Not lots bigger. I want the light to come through this spot. So I'm deliberately not going over the top. I don't want these to be too big a holes. It doesn't matter if it's messy because no one's going to see it anyway. So to me, the very last thing I'm going to put on is this top bit. I'm nearly at the point where I think I'm ready to stick the bottom bit down. I'm just going to make sure that I can't see it through any of the cardboard. Just do one more check that my lights work. And I'm just holding this down here. I lost the light there. It feels like I'm in the wrong. This one's just not quite as bright. But that's because I've left the foam in the wrong spot. Hold on. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this bit down. Obviously, I just need to make sure I don't put any foam at all. Any foam. Any tape at all anywhere near the copper. I want this to be as close to the edge as I can possibly get because that's the part kind of worried about fraying or coming loose so I'm going to put a bunch of tape on this I'm probably going to come down the sides really close as well and as long as I don't touch the, the foam sorry the copper I'll be fine so I'm just going to go ahead and stick all this down and then we'll come back for the next bit so that it's, it goes all the way to the edge. Um, I'm just going to try and use as much of the stuff I've already got, but I do have some extra foam here if I need it. So I'm just cutting this down and I'll just stick it on. If I need to trim it thinner, I will. This, this is going to be a, not tricky, but pain in the butt part. I did think about putting the foam the other way around, but I just couldn't get that to do what I wanted to do either. I have practiced this, I just didn't do a very good job. Um, but yeah, it's it's not, not particularly difficult, it's just more that you've got to get it all in the right spot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. If I need to, I'm going to grab some skinnier double-sided tape because I do have other widths. Um, I do have other widths of tape, so I can use different ones to try and help me get 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, bulk it up, and I'll be back. side you don't really notice it is there and you can tell but it's not it's not completely in, in like noticeable now I'm gonna stick the top bit down so again same thing bunch of double-sided tape all over the whole thing obviously avoiding the little light bits and don't touch the copper tape I'm gonna work around the edges first because I want them to be stuck and then we'll work on the bits in the middle all right, now before we stick this down, this is a personal preference thing. You can do this or you can not do this. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of vellum. This is just a little bit of scrap that I've got here. And I wanna put it as a line over all the dots, just so that there's not like a hole there, if that makes sense. And I'm also gonna color these in yellow. So I'm gonna put bunch of tape there that's going to hold the vellum in place and then just using one of my yellow Copix this is Y15 I'm just going to color all over the vellum I don't need to be tidy about this because you're not going to see it and all it's going to do it's going to change that light from a white to a yellow now you can actually color in the lights themselves and have the lights be yellow but I think this will work just as well so I'm just trying to line up as best I can sort of where everything goes you would have seen before I can pull this up it's not impossible it's not an impossibility to pull stuff up off foam tape and double sided it's not a stick stick but The only thing I haven't done there, I'm just gonna pull this up a little if I can. It's just a little not quite right at the bottom, so I'm just seeing if I can get it up. So far, so good. But double-sided to that vellum because it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's sticking to the paper as nicely as it should I was a little too far to the bottom that time so I'm just gonna try and come up a little bit the only other thing that's kind of bothering me is the I sort of have to hold here as well but that's all right I can I can get over that so let's try that one more time I'm more trying to sort of line up the holes which I don't it's actually not as easy as I thought it was gonna be I'm just gonna come back through the, the back of the hole again times like this I wish I had a hole punch that could get into all these little spots but I don't and the reason we've gone the yellow just in case anyone's wondering is because the the little shine marks on the paper are yellow so that sort of seemed to make more sense to me feels a bit better on the edges that's the only part it, it, this slides out so I just need to find a way to keep it in there so you push that in you do have to hold this a little bit 
to kind of get it to go, but it's not it's not horrible. How am I going to keep that in? All right, so I have a bit of the foam from that square left over. So I'm just going to cut a little bit. This isn't going to stick in. It's not going to I'm not going to use any tape or anything. I'm just going to push it in. I can only use one one layer of it. but if I do need to change the battery I can and it still lights up all right we've solved that problem all right overall yes that's taken a hell of a long time I'm aware but that's damn cool and I love the way it lights up but we can't leave it just like that I need something else on there as well so I want to put a quote card on the front I'm not going to put anything on the back yet I'm going to leave that for myself to kind of decide what I want to do but I do want to use, I want to use this because it is gorgeous and I think it'll be really cool to be able to sort of change, change the quote card in here as I see fit and I'm just trying to work out where I want to put it, if I want to put it in the middle, on the side, I'm going to keep it straight, I don't know why I'm sort of, I'm, I like doing things wonky but I think for this one I'm going to have it just on the side. And we'll grab one of the quote cards out of the kit. Very much leaning towards the spread the sparkle, but I'll try the other two. So this way I can change the quote card whenever I like. Maybe we go to pink. Actually, I like the yellow. Let's pull that out. that gorgeous yellow that's got its own little spot and I can change that whenever I like and the only thing we need to do is add actually I don't think we do the battery is sitting right underneath the the flower petal here like this the middle of the flower whatever that's called um, which means there's a really obvious place to push and because this is me and it's my dashboard I kind of feel like I already know what to do I already do have to push a little bit to the left as well just to make sure that really good connection with the, the bit on the front. So I think, I think it will be okay. Now if you really wanted to, and I'm just going to show you as an example, but don't, I'm not going to leave it, I don't think. If you were worried about the stuff around the edge, you could tape it up with some washi tape. So I'm just putting a really thin little bit on there. And then you could poke, actually, that doesn't look, I can't see the front, but from the back, that actually looks kind of cool. So I'm just taping that up so that nothing can kind of get in there. Actually, I don't hate that. All right, we're going to do that. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. I was going to leave it, but. So this is me. I like to get the front looking good first. Because that's to me the sort of the, the especially if this is your dashboard this is the front of your planner you want it to look great so I'm giving that a bit of a push and just fold it over like I said this last step is not necessary you don't have to do it Quite honestly, it does work without it. And then we'll fix that edge when we do the other a bit of tape. It looks a bit messy at the moment, but it won't look messy for long. There we go. Just do that the whole way around. The only part I'm not going to do this to is the little bit where the battery comes out because you don't want to tape that although it, it could be an extra way to keep it in if you were really worried about it you could just sort of go straight over the top the washi comes off reasonably easily I'm not going to I'm going to keep it so that space is able to be manipulated and I can pull that out whenever I like So the 
only problem I'm having now, I actually think that looks really cool and I think it sort of stops, stops things wandering around. The only downside is now my light doesn't seem to want to work. There we go. Battery just got up a bit high. Um, so all I'm going to do is just pull this tape up just a little bit. Just enough to be able to get the, the hole punch into it. Which is kind of tricky. Actually. No, I will do it. I was thinking I could just be really, 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 really tricky and just kind of cut it, but I think it's going to end up looking weird. So I'm just going to hole punch into my washi tape. So I've kind of pulled it up a little, but that's all right. spot and if that's the case I'll just come in with the scissors and move it but to me that'll sit in the that'll sit enough that I don't have to worry about it I just cut the corners into little triangles so that way there's enough for them to sort of fold back over themselves and hold them in place but if they sort of annoy you and you don't like the corners just cut them straight obviously go out of your way to make sure there was something that let people know that they need to push so that there's something interactive here because it's just for me and you guys I don't think I need to do that but that is an option if you wanted to I'm just trimming off the, the excess on the bottom here go and I'm gonna leave it like that so you just sort of yet yeah, you do have to hold a little bit Kind of make that connection really secure but that's not going anywhere that battery it can come out if i shake it hard enough it could come out quite honestly i can't see it coming out but just in case it's very easy for me to change the battery if it does get flat i'm just going to put that in there again it just sits in there i can put a pocket or something on the back here which is probably what i'll do i'll stick a pocket there just to show you what it looks like in the planner. Man, I've made a mess in here. So I'm just gonna open this up. It is going to be thick. It is going to be a bit of bulk. That's funny. Just a little bit of tape at the bottom. It doesn't want to sit. It is gonna add a bit of bulk, but not too much bulk. Ow, my finger. I love that. I didn't think I would. I thought I would be really Eh, about this and kind of go oh well I did it for you guys I wanted you guys to see the light up but I actually really like this um, and I've got this uh, piece of acetate as a bit of a cover for it anyway but I could really easily pack not pack cut a bit of the acetate from the kit and put that over the top and I think that would look really lovely as well but there we go my light up dashboard like I said it wasn't easy it was not uncomplicated and I messed up along the way, but did I get what I wanted? Yeah, I did. And I didn't think I would. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself right now. Please let me know what you think down below or of course on any of my socials. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for more Planners Anonymous content. There will be a bit this week. I have the new Sakura kit. Should be here by the time this video goes up. It should be here already. Uh, but if it's not, it won't be far away. So that should be Friday's video unless Australia Post let me down. Uh, and I have an extra special thing coming in that, which will be the week after. It'll be Wednesday next week's video as well, I hope. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.